Okay guys, I have rewatched this film for about the 10th time recently and I just want to talk about the decision making that went into choosing either Dr. Mann's Frozen Planet or Dr. Emmons' Desert World. Due to the time dilation on Miller's planet, the endurance spaceship spends too much time orbiting the black hole and there is not enough fuel to visit both planets. Cooper makes the ultimate decision to visit Dr. Mann's planet but I think he was actually wrong to do so. This is because Brand makes a great case for Edmund's planet. The main reason is that Edmund's planet does not orbit the black hole like Mann's planet does. She specifically states Murphy's law, anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Even if Mann's planet had turned out to be hospitable, it still orbits a mother effing black hole where countless things could go wrong in the future. Also, the black hole prevents accidents that would otherwise breed life onto a planet such as asteroids and comets but those would be sucked up by the black hole instead. Next, she states that love is the great reason for them to go to Edmonds. Cooper of all characters should understand this because his love for his kids travels across the universe and reaches out to them and this love is exactly what ends up saving them in the end. But Cooper for some reason just dismisses her love as being too emotional and not rational enough. Yes, Edmund did stop transmitting his signal because the rock slide ended up killing him but his data was much more promising than Dr. Mann's and since Brand is the only biologist on the team, I think Cooper should have listened to her more on this. She literally says, Cooper, this is my field. And I really believe Edmonds is the better prospect. She goes on to further state that even though there could be hydrocarbons on man's planet, it might just be sterile with no life just like Miller's planet due to the black hole. I also wish that Romley would have weighed in more on this. It seemed like it was just a two person conversation when Romley could have broken the tie. He even says for them to vote. We should vote. But in the end they don't actually end up voting and Cooper just makes a decision for all of them which doesn't really make sense. I understand that the earth was ultimately saved because Cooper chose man's planet and that they had to slingshot around the black hole to gain the data that saved earth but this was just a stroke of luck. Let me know what you guys think about this. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.